What is going on guys? It's Wraith here, back with another video. Now today's video, I'm going to be explaining the two edit keybind, for example with a clip before that, which is absolutely insane, and those edits are just so fast and so smooth that I just knew I had to make a video on this. Obviously it's been out for a couple of weeks, almost a month now, but I decided to switch over and honestly I think you guys should too. Obviously I would switch after the World Cup. I just decided to switch right now because I just think it's that good. But yeah, those edits that you can make and how quick you can actually do the edits is absolutely incredible. So I'll be going through the settings and actually kind of show you guys how to do it and what to switch to actually be able to do it. There is a way on console that you can actually do it as well for uh, controllers. So if you guys want to know how to do that, let me know in the comments down below. I just don't know how many of you guys are actually on controller and I haven't researched how to do it yet. But I can definitely find it out for you guys if you'd like. And it, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how to do this because it's just so, so, so insane. And you can absolutely literally have better than most pros edits if you actually get good with this. It, for me, it's taken a while, but hopefully down the road in a couple weeks, it will do pretty good. So you're going to want to go into your settings and you're going to go, want to go obviously where your keybinds are or it's called input I guess and you're going to want to scroll down all the way till it shows misc. So it'll show building edit and your first button or your first kind of row should be what you normally edit with. So for example I edit with F and then your second one should be a mouse button. So obviously switch a mouse button it just shows K for me because I have to bind the mouse button to an actual letter. So you just bind the mouse button and all you're going to want to do is click F or whatever your edit is, drag your left click or click your left click and then click your mouse button at the same time. Not the same time, but almost instantly after you hit the left side of your mouse. So obviously when you start getting good, you can edit it super, super quick because basically, yes, you're using three keys and it gets kind of annoying and you're like, oh my God, this seems so, so difficult. But after a while, like I've only been practicing for a day. And obviously, I'm no, not even close to being able to edit that fast or even where I was before. But I definitely feel not that bad with it. Like, I can still do some edits. Like, not nothing crazy or anything. But I don't feel that, that bad. And yeah, I obviously have only been on for a day. So hopefully, in the next week or so, I will be good with it. And now, some of you guys might be, like, complaining. Be like, well... Like, I don't really know if I want to do this because then I don't have the scroll wheel reset. But if you watch this clip, I'll put on the screen right now. It doesn't really matter if you have scroll wheel reset because you can basically re-edit it and close it as quick as a scroll wheel edit would. So it's actually super, super incredible. Yes, it does take a lot of time. It's super, super difficult to pick up, especially since you already have the mentality of kind of clicking two keys only for your edit. It's definitely really, really, really hard to get used to that. And obviously you can do plenty of edit courses, but this is a cool edit course kind of, I like using Raider actually created himself. And by the way, all of Raider's uh, links will be in the description down below if you want to check him out. He's a guy that actually like discovered this and, well, I don't know if discovered it, but the first one that brought it to everyone's attention. But his editing course is 0744-7641-9247. In case you guys didn't get that, it's at the very top of the screen. Uh, it shows Raider 464 and it actually shows the edit course code. So I highly recommend switching to this. Obviously, again, you don't have to do it until World Cup is over, but I do highly, definitely highly recommend switching over to this. And I'll show you guys a couple of clips after this of him editing even more. But yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It was a quick one today, but I just want to let you guys know about this and telling you that you should probably switch. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you come back for a future video. And by the way, last thing before we go, I'm sure all of you guys know kind of this beef going on between FaZe and Tifu. And if you guys are actually curious about learning more about it or want me to update you guys, I can make a video on it. Obviously, there's tons and tons of videos getting made about it, like Drama Alert, uh, the Fortnite guy, basically every Fortnite like focus channel or whatever those kind of channels are that just re-upload other people's clips. Like they definitely have so many videos on it but if you guys are curious about it and you don't really know what's going on and you want to know more about it i can definitely make an in-depth video for you guys just let me know in the comments down below and i will get on that but yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you smash the like button and i'll show the rest as clips have a good one guys bye